Good morning, lovelies. Look, the gang's all here. Did I say things were gonna get spicy this week? Did my little, my little hunch hat, my little marketing brain go, you know what? This is all gonna lead up to something a bit bigger. It's Team Rocket. It's not just gonna be a one hour takeover. Da -na -na -na. Shiny Rayquaza is coming to raids. That is right, you heard it here first. What the heckins. Let's rock and roll. As if this isn't the most like perfect shiny for Team Rocket as well. Red and black Rayquaza, shiny. In raids, it's gonna be here for like a month. Let's get into the details. So starting Wednesday, July 31st at 1 p.m. PDT, so 1 p.m. Niantic time, Rayquaza is gonna be popping in level five raids with the shiny option available. So 1 p.m. PDT, 31st Wednesday, translates to uh, Thursday morning for Australia, for Japan, uh, and pretty much for Europe as well, because when it pops for you guys, it's gonna be too late in the evening for raids to be starting. So sorry, have a nice night's rest, hit it fresh Thursday morning. And Rayquaza is gonna be hanging around in raids until September 2nd, 1 p.m. PDT. So pretty much the same start time, finish time. It's gonna be leaving us September 2nd. So pretty much the entirety of August. All of August, Rayquaza raids, Holy dooly, first of all, I'm like stoked that this is gonna be one of the raid bosses when I'm in Japan because Japan lobbies, man, they're always full. It's gonna be, mm, I'm excited. <laughs> so get excited, get hyped. This is one that everyone has been asking for for so long. So many people were like, why didn't they do like a Rayquaza raid hour? And like, I'm like, no, 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 honey, no. Rayquaza shiny is too spicy to do a raid hour or a raid day for. And I'm so glad that they waited for it to line up perfectly it's perfectly on brand with team rocket just the black and red it's awesome and it's here for a month let's roll rayquaza is also one of like the craziest dragon type attackers so if you don't have a decent one if you don't have one at all do try to get out with your squad do try to coordinate some raids even if you just do your own little mini raid day and just get five or so in Rayquaza is a fantastic dragon type to have on your team. Now let's jump into the counters that you're gonna need for this one. And it's kind of like a really fun one. The counters for Rayquaza are like a nice little mixed bag. It's not just like, oh, just use your Tyranitars, that's it. Like there's actually a genuine bit of variety and it's not all legendary stuff. Actually, it's not any legendary stuff, really. Because Rayquaza is dragon type, it is super effective against dragons. And a lot of the big boys we use for raids in raid counters are a lot of dragon types. You know, some of the big heavy hitters like Palkia and Dialga are gonna get chopped through pretty fast if Rayquaza is using its dragon type moves. So the top counters are actually mostly the ice types because ice types are super duper effective against dragons too. So the things you wanna keep your eyes out for for your counters are going to be Mamoswine with all of these with ice moves, by the way. Mamoswine, uh, Glaceon and Weavile, those are the top three. They just chunk through chunk through some DPS output. So they're fantastic options. If you missed out on, you know, Swin Up Community Day, you don't have many Mammoth Swines or things like that, or maybe you don't have enough Sinnoh Stones to evolve Weavile, by the way, keep your eyes out for Shiny Sneasel at the moment. The next following options are good to go as well. You could use Mewtwo with the Ice Charge moves. Jinx, Pyloswine, Articuno. I know we've had like the legendary birds back and forth 1400 times. We should have a couple of Articuno by now. And Jinx, Jinx has been here for the last three years. We should all at least have one Jinx. You can also use Porygon Z with double ice moves. You can use Cloyster. I know I still have a team of maxed out six Cloyster from when the game first came out, the old gym battle system. People used to put in 10 stacks of Dragonites. I didn't have anything to counter them except for my little Cloyster army. So I still have my OG Cloyster boys ready to go. You can use Regice and even on this list, before we even get to the dragon type attackers, you can use Mew with double ice moves. And that is actually what I did with my Mew. I pretty much maxed it out after I got it and got really lucky with the TM rerolls and it has double ice moves. So Mew is definitely gonna be on my team just for fun. I, I don't get to use it that much. So I'm definitely gonna be bringing it in for these raids. After that, you can use Lapras with double ice moves and then it kind of rolls into, uh, you know, the dragon types like Dialga and things like that. But Icy Boys, get your Icy type attackers out and hit it hard. I will leave a link in the description to Pokey Battler as well, just in case you're really working with a, you know, a budget team, you don't have any of these Pokemon for whatever reason, I'll link to Pokey Battler and they have it kind of itemized from best to worst counters. And there are still plenty of, you know, more accessible Pokemon like Walrein and things like that that are viable. 
end of the day, if you don't have any of these teams or any of these Pokemon maxed out um, and you rock up to a raid and you're not sure what to use, just go with, with ice types. You'll be pretty safe. And don't be embarrassed or ashamed to ask someone at the raid like, hey, I haven't done a Rayquaza before. What should I use? And for those of you who are the high level 40s, all that kind of jazz, level 40 times a billion, Take these people under your wing, help build them a team and show them what to be using rather than going, who's using Agron in the raid? Let that person know what is actually more effective and help them make a better party to use for raids. So this is the party that I'm going to be using for my raids for the moment. I might put you up front just for funsies. Uh, and the last spot there will be my Glaceon, which is currently in a gym. What are the odds of that? Just, just the timing was slightly out on that, but it should get kicked out in the next 24 hours ish. So you're gonna take in all my icy boys. I'll hopefully be hunting for shiny Sneasel tomorrow, today, tomorrow, some point this week as well. So if I find a better one, I will evolve that to Weavile, take it with me. Maybe I'll get a shiny. Who knows how we go? <laughs> we'll see if that makes it to the team as well. But pretty much if you guys go into your Pokemon storage, type in ice and Honestly, any of this stuff would be perfectly fine to help, you know, counter your Rayquaza. Uh, Rayquaza, if its stats have not changed, I'm not sure. It's been a while since we've had Rayquaza, actually. At la the last time Rayquaza was here, it was possible to duo Rayquaza as well. So best friend bonus, optimal weather, you could duo Rayquaza. It, is, um, it doesn't have the highest defense. It's very attack-based. So um, if that still stands, I might try to do a sneaky little duo for Rayquaza as well. But this also is a great thing for anyone who is in smaller raid communities or possibly rural, You or if you're lower level, if you don't have you know maxed out ice types and things like that, you'll need less people to get it done overall. So it's not like Kyogre where you genuinely need like a good squad, like a whole bunch of people with like powered up stuff to take it down. Rayquaza, you should be able to do this with a handful of people. So fingers crossed to you rural good eggs as well that you can get out there and get some of these in too. I suppose the overall benefit being because Rayquaza and shiny Rayquaza is so highly desired and has been wanted for so long, um, hopefully the desire for it lasts throughout the month as well. So if you're missing out on the first raid weekend, make sure you stay in communication with your local groups to make sure that you can get some more in. I'm sure people are gonna be going hard for it this month. So don't kind of sit down and be like, oh, I just missed out on them. Like put your hand up, say that you're interested, communicate with your local group because if you don't speak up, no one's gonna know that you're interested and wanna do it. So put it out there and hopefully you can get some of these bad boys in. So that's that, enough of me chatting on. Uh, let me know in the comments down below, are you hashtag hyped for shiny Rayquaza? I know I am. I'm still yet to get like a crazy spicy team, just IV based of Rayquaza. And then to add onto that shiny Rayquaza, yes please. If you are new, please be sure to subscribe. We've got a whole bunch of awesome adventures coming up this month as well. Hit the bell button as well so you know when I do post videos or go live. Thank you to everyone who did leave a like on this video as well. And if you'd like additional ways to support the channel, links for Patreon and the merch in the description down below. And don't worry, if baby pink is not your color, pretty much every merch item comes in black as well or a variety of colors. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful morning, noon, night, whatever it is for you. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.